job for the morning. I've got a customer's engine, it won't run. It won't run properly, apparently. So I'm gonna show you this morning how, with a few simple tools, you can check if you've got your timing right and why your engine might not be running right with literally five minutes of your time. Come on, let's get the tools and let's go. These are the tools. Allen key, 17 mil socket, 27 mil socket. Right, other workshop, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Anybody want to buy an engine? <laughs> Plenty of engines for sale. Right, so this is the culprit. So there's a couple of things we need to check. First of all, we need to find out if the pump is timed correctly to the engine. So before we get, start delving into the, the major, what could be wrong with the engine bits and pieces, we're gonna look at the basics because that's what we should always start with. Right, 17 mil, take your bung out the side of the fuel pump. And then we're gonna rotate the engine round in a clockwise direction. But before you do, remember, remember, always do it, don't be lazy, get your, pot, your torch. If you're a good mechanic, if you've ever worked in a shop and you're a good mechanic, you've always got a torch on you, haven't you? So take your torch out, have a look in the ports. No, nope, there's nothing in. There isn't a cable tie head or anything like that that's going to fall in. Look in them all. Don't be lazy, because that's what's going to trip you up. Right, they're all good. Okay, now let's turn this engine over. <clears throat> oh. oh, well, I've seen a problem straight away. Have a look at this. <clears throat> Somebody's made their own uh, timing pointer. Mm. That instantly rings alarm bells, doesn't it? Yeah, okay, right, let's turn it clockwise. Let's turn it to 11 degrees after top dead center. Right, so what we are looking for is we are making sure that the inlet valves are closed at the time of injection. So what should happen is, like you can see now, the inlet valves, have a look down the hole, hopefully you'll be able to see it with the camera. If I turn it, hang on, see if I can get that torch. Right, so I'm gonna turn it over, and you can see that inlet valve is opening, so the engine is drawing in the air, right? So that is the induction stroke. And then, <sighs> yep, and then we can see the valve is closing. And as the valve is closing, we can now look at the timing marks and we're coming round. And then there we go, top dead center is there. So just after those inlet valves have closed uh, and the engine would have injected, uh, the, sorry, the injector pump would have injected about 22 degrees before, but we have a timing offset. So we ignore that and we go all the way to 11 degrees after TDC, hoping that this guy's made this thing right. Okay, so I'll take the camera again. I think I might have been holding that on portrait mode, so apologies to everyone for that. Um, and then we just have to check, is the pointer in the hole for the pump? No, it's not. So this chap's running problems are probably right there. So obviously, with that at 11 degrees after top dead center, his pointer should have been there. So I think that that's that problem solved straight away. So, okay, let's say that you get really, really confused. You haven't got a clue what, what's going on. You can't really work out what's going on. And you've checked what I've just checked and that your pin did line up at 11 degrees after top dead center where it should be um, and it still won't start and you're thinking oh god there's all sorts of things going on with this take the side plate off it, you might have depending on who's built the pump you might have flat blade screws in there so 
go to your joinery toolbox and take the nearest flat blade screwdriver out to take your side plate off. Or if you've got one of my sexy side plates, get a nice Allen key and take this off. And what we're looking for in there is the position of the element, the position of the element as it's pumping up into cylinder number one. Now, the thing to know about these injector pumps is, now this is rough, this is a rough guide, but it's gonna help you out if you're in a fix. Cylinder number one, when you see that element lift from the bottom, so when the, the piston, the plunger, look, have a look in this hole, you see we've got, we've got six pumping followers and they go onto the elements. Now, if I rotate the engine, you see how number one is going down as I'm turning it, right? So what we do is we wait until it's gone all the way down to the bottom. You can move the rack out of the way if you want, doesn't matter. Wait till it's gone all the way to the bottom like it has, right? And then you wait, keep turning it, keep turning it. You see how it's still at the bottom? Keep turning, still at the bottom. Keep turning, still at the bottom. Right now it's starting to lift. So turn it so it lifts about two mil. So that, that uh, lifter has lifted about two millimeters, yeah? That is start of injection. So that, that, ele that lifter has just lifted two mil on number one cylinder. That is roughly start of injection. Now don't get me wrong, you can't do accurate timing with this, but this will tell you if there's something drastically wrong with you know, the pointer setting in the pump or something else. So that is, a, and at two mil of, of pre-lift, where that just starts to lift, technically your injection pump is going to start injection. Now that on pretty much, well, most diesel engines and especially old stuff like this, that occurs 22 degrees before top dead center. So we pictured the stroke that we just described the inlet valve was open, it sucked all the air in. We watched the inlet valve close. And then as soon as that inlet valve closed, you'd have turned the engine a little bit more clockwise and it'd have got to roughly 22 degrees before top dead center. And that pump would have started injecting. You can imagine it's got all that nice fresh air in and now it's gonna compress that air fuel mixture and boom, your engine will run. So, now we should look, we've just seen that 22, uh, we've just seen that two degrees of lift on there. Now, if we look on this timing pointer on the engine, it should say 22 degrees before top dead center or thereabouts. It could be 18, it could be 24. This isn't a particularly accurate way of doing it, but it'll ballpark us. And this engine won't run right. That's why it's here. The customer sent it on a pallet. So let's have a look what it's reading. Well, your timing markers are down here. So we know straight away there's something massively wrong. This has been completely wrongly timed. The, uh, the timing markers, obviously, timing, the main timing point is here, and we should have been reading 22 degrees before top dead center. So it should have been here somewhere. The pointer should have been reading just in front of that 20, like 22 on there. So we can see it's massively out. It, it's probably like, 100, 100 degrees out of time, which would explain why this thing isn't running right. And don't think that if it's badly out of time that it won't run, because trust me, they will run. These things will even run with the injector pipes mixed up. So yes, um, the timing is crucial, but it will still run, don't be fooled. They do all sorts of strange things. So that's a nice, easy step. Few really simple tools. If you're in a fix, you can't understand what's going on. You're not sure if you've got, you've messed up here, you've messed up there, whatever. Or you think that the, your pump might have been built wrong or whoever's done the pump wrong. Cause that's really what you're checking there is to make sure that your indicator's right. It's just a dead simple way of fixing it. Few simple tools, great tip of the day. Thanks for joining me as usual and see you next time.